Hello everyone, we are N11 and we are explaining floating point representation. Now going through the content slide, introduction to floating point representation, IEEE standard 754 floating point numbers. First, single precision IEEE 754 floating point standard. Second, double precision IEEE 754 floating point standard. Floating point representation. Now the floating point is represented into uh, three parts. The first part comes the sign part. The second one is the exponent and the third one is the mantissa. You can also uh, switch between the mantissa and exponent part. Like first comes the sign part, then the mantissa and then the exponent. Now first let's take an example. Now this is the final example where this first part is the, the sign part. The second part is the exponent part. Uh, this exponent part can also be written as 2 raised to 4. Uh, in the exponent form uh, where the base is 2 and the uh, exponent would be 4 and the third part comes as uh, the mantissa now uh, uh, let's understand what are the three parts or uh, what are their meanings and uh, with example understand them clearly the first one is the sign part the, 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 the sign part shows the sign of the uh, num, uh, floating point negative or positive and it is determined by the most significant bit now here as you can see in the example uh, the most significant bit of this example is uh, 1 so therefore uh, this would be the negative number like 1 implies as the negative number and 0 implies as the positive number of the floating point representation so uh, when we uh, consider the most significant bit of the example it would be 1 uh, and it would indicate the negative number now the uh, second part uh, here is the exponent part now exponent uh, this part is the, the sign part has the first uh, bit uh, in the binary representation the next part uh, exponent part has the 8 bit uh, 8 bits uh, 8 bits of the binary representation and the next uh, uh, 23 bits remaining are uh, the, for the mantissa part now first uh, exponent part uh, in this part, uh, 127 is the unique number for 32-bit floating point representation where the case comes as bias. Uh, now this condition is determined by a uh, condition like uh, 2 raised to k minus 1 minus 1 where k is the number of bits in the exponent field. Now uh, for the 8-bit representation, the k, k or as you can see the exponent is the 3, there are 3 exponents. For the 32-bit uh, uh, the there is the uh, this is the eight exponent bits and uh, for 64 bit it is uh, 10 now you, to understand this more clearly i'll give us an example now the uh, for bias uh, for eight bit conversion it would be the representation would be two raised to three minus one minus one is equal to uh, that would be four minus one that is three so three for eight bit conversion now 127 for 32 bit conversion uh, as a uh, as previous this would be two raised to eight minus one minus one uh, this would be 128 minus one that is 127 and similarly for 64 bit conversion it would be two raised to ten minus one minus one 1064 minus one 1063 that is 1064 64-bit conversion now here is the example as you can see this example is then converted into 131 into base 10 so 131 minus 127 is equal to 4 so hence the exponent of 2 will be 4 that is 2 raised to 4 so the exponent would be 16 so now uh, the third part comes the mantissa part which, has, which consists of 23 bits of the binary representation now it consists of 1 and the fractional part which is determined by the example uh, now the, this is the example and you can see the fractional part of the mantissa is given by uh, 1 into 1 by 2 plus 0 into 1 by 4 plus uh, 1 into 1 by 8 plus uh, 0 into 1 by 16 then this total would be uh, and so on and this would be uh, 0 0.65 thus the mantissa will be 1 plus 0 0.65 that would be 1.65 thus the decimal, uh, decimal number hence given as sign uh, the representation would be sine first comes the sine part then the exponent part and then the mantissa and that would be minus 1 into 0 into 16 into 1.65 this would be 26 now there's another representation of this number where uh, you switch between the sine and mantissa part the mantissa would come first and the exponent would come second and uh, the sign uh, the, like uh, for minus 1 raised to 0 you could uh, also consider 1 and that will uh, if uh, you don't uh, do the sign part it will be considered as positive number and the exponent would be you can also write it in the base to a uh, power form that would be 2 raised to 4 so the number uh, would be in uh, number would be as a uh, follow uh, 1.625 into 2 raised to 4 where the sign part is the one uh, 
that would be the positive number that would indicate the negative number then the 2 raised to 4 uh, 1.65 that is the mantissa and the last one would be 2 raised to 4 the base would be 2 for the binary numbers and for that decimal that same base would be 10 huh. So next slide is to convert a decimal into floating point we have three elements in a triple standard 754 floating point numbers the IEEE standard for floating point arithmetic IEEE 754 is a technical standard for floating point computations which was established in 1985 by the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers. The standard addresses many problems found in the diverse floating point implementations that made them difficult to use, reliable and reduce their portability. IEEE standard 754 floating point is the most common representation today for real numbers on computers, including Intel-based PCs, Macs, and most unique platforms. There are several ways to represent floating point numbers, but IEEE 754 is the most efficient in most cases. IEEE 754 has three basic components. Uh, first is the biased exponent. The exponent field needs to represent both positive and negative exponent. A bias is added to the actual exponent in order to get the stored exponent. Second is the normalizer mantis. The mantis is part of a number in scientific notation or floating point numbers consisting of its significant digits. Here we have only two digits that is 0 and 1. So a normalizer mantis is 1 with only 1 to the left of the decimal. There are uh, treble, uh, the two types single precision and double precision. Uh, sine first uh, is 31st uh, bit, and second double precision is 63 bit. Bias the exponent 8 of 30 minus 23, and double precision is 11 62 minus 52. Uh, normalized dementia 23 of 22 minus 0, 52 of 51 minus 0. Bias. 1271023 So our basic aim is to represent a number into floating point representation for that basically convert that number into binary number and convert that binary number into one point something home to find exponent we have formula for single precision that is e dash is equal to 127 plus e here the x value of e is 6 so convert e dash into binary form and to represent a number into floating point representation the first digit represents the sign of that number and then we represent the mantissa and then exponential it is same for the double precision but the formula for double precision is e dash is equal to 1023 plus e same procedure is to be followed in the double precision first convert that number into binary form then find exponential that is e dash by the formula of 1023 plus e convert that convert that number into binary and to represent a number into floating point representation first of all represent the sign of that number then mantissa part and then exponential part thank you now we will convert it into double precision format here bias component precision will be 1023 plus 6 which is equal to 1029 here 1023 is a biased for 64 bit so 1029 represent 1 in binary form 1000000001 and now normalized multi size same for 32 bit as well as for 64 bit is same so it represents 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 we will add zeros to complete the 52 bits therefore the IEEE 754 double precision is 0 as a sign bit because 85.125 is a positive number so we will take a 0 one zero 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 one zero one as exponent bit and zero one zero one zero one 
zero zero one till fifty two bits, we will be your mentee, sir. This is a representation of eighty five point one two five in sixty four bit. This can be written in the hexadecimal form four zero five five four eight till ten zeros. Exponent will be depends upon bias, but mentisa will be same for both in single bias as well as double precision format. In single precision, we we have to add zero to complete thirty two bits, and in double precision, we have to add. Zero to complete fifty two bits. Thank you. Please like and share.